Hi, I'm Shantae, freelance copywriter and creative business coach. And today I'm going to share with you five ways that you can find your first copywriting client. Let's get started. Number one is the most easiest and pretty obvious one. And that's on job boards, places like ZipRecruiter, Indeed, Upwork, any type of job boards that's going to get you started. There are a plethora of large and small businesses that are looking for copywriters. Now, you want to keep in mind that you definitely want to have your samples in place and you want to definitely be sure that you are targeting the companies and the industries that you definitely have decided that you want to write for. If you need some help with niching down or getting started as a copywriter before you reach this step, be sure to check out my video, 11 Steps to Becoming a Freelance Copywriter, even if you've never written copy before, or if you prefer to read more in detail, be sure to click on the link below. The second place to find copywriting clients is on LinkedIn. In. LinkedIn is a, a great online connector and opportunity for you to not only research, but connect with businesses and brands that you wish to write for. Do a little bit of your research and find out who's in charge of hiring your copywriter for your marketing or PR department. This is where you're going to want to reach out to them directly and find out whether they're hiring for copywriters. LinkedIn now has a feature where they have job postings available, but you don't always have to look for those job postings. This is a great opportunity for you to just connect with someone in that department and kind of get to know a little bit more about their business, their brand, their mission, and their message. That way, when that opportunity comes along where they need a copywriter and they will, you will be the first person on their mind. Number three is a traditional way of networking. And networking can be anything from going to the Chamber of Commerce, to joining your local writing group, to even talking to business owners in your neighborhood. But you wanna tell everybody that you are a copywriter and what type of copywriting services you are able to offer. You wanna be sure that you're targeting businesses that actually can benefit from copywriting. Be sure they have a website, maybe they have not started a blog yet, or they've started a blog, but it's been six months since they've updated any new blogs or materials. Maybe they have a newsletter and it could need some tweaking, or maybe it's a great company that could use a new letter, a digital newsletter, such as your local coffee shop or your fitness center or your doctor's office. Whatever it is, be sure it's a company that number one would have the budget to pay for a copywriter and number two has the use and can see the need and value of your copywriting services. A good thing is to also join classes, writing classes, writing forums. Don't be afraid of competition. There's so many different writing styles out there. Never look at other writers as competitions. Instead, look at them as compliments. Some writers may write in the same style as you, but may be overwhelmed by their clients who could use you as a partner to take care of any overflow. Or somebody who's a sales writer may run into somebody who needs a content writer or a case study writer, and that's where you be an expert. You never know where your opportunity is gonna come from. So don't shy away from networking with other writers and also just other creators such as web designers, photographers, di and digital marketers. Another way to find copywriting clients is through warm email marketing. When you've made these connections, even if it's just brief connections and maybe you haven't even mentioned that you're a copywriter yet, be sure to send out an email, look for the person that's in charge of doing the hiring or the marketing and send out a warm email introducing your services. Offer an example of what working with you looks like. For instance, how writing a blog for them can then turn into a YouTube video, how that YouTube video can turn into Instagram or TikTok short. Whatever it is, position yourself not only as a copywriter, but a content strategist that can help them further their brand or increase their sales with content. Number five and the final way to find copywriting clients is inbound marketing. And inbound marketing is gonna be something as simple as 
positioning yourself as a copywriter and watching those people come to you. You can do this by building your own website. Be sure that you have your name secured as your domain or something that's professional and position yourself online as a copywriting expert in your particular field. And this is exactly why niching down is helpful. When people are Googling or looking for a copywriter in a particular field or type of experience or service level, you wanna be sure that you've positioned yourself so as soon as they go to your website or your social media page, they know exactly what type of copywriter you are. I'm gonna admit, this is where I struggle. I have so many different passions that I do tend to struggle with that. This is definitely the opportunity for, to sit down and really, really carve down what exactly you're gonna be known for. And it can be really hard. You may have different passions, but that's okay. Start with one that you are very confident in doing very well, and then from there, you'll notice that it'll, once you've secured that first client, that'll give you an opportunity to, to open up other ideas and opportunities. I hope this video was helpful. Again, you wanna look at job boards, LinkedIn, network, email, sending out warm emails to people in your community or people that you know far, near and far. And number five, make sure you have your own forum and your own website that you can attract people to you. If you have more questions on becoming a freelance copywriter with no experience and no degree, be sure to click on the link below. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, thank you for watching.